everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the modern washcloth, which is an easy washcloth to work. You can see it here in the photo. I've worked it up in a couple of different colors. This uh, washcloth measures approximately 8.5 inches by 8.5 inches and you're going to need about 100 yards of your favorite uh, worsted weight cotton. You can see it here shown in the uh, Handicrafter Cotton by Yarnspirations. Today I'm going to be working it in a couple of colors with Pima Cotton by Lion Brand. And uh, you're also going to need a 5 millimeter crochet hook and then as well a yarn needle and a pair of scissors for finishing off. The free written pattern can be found on my blog at Rich Textures crochet.com and it's free to follow there on my site you may wish to follow along so thank you so much for joining me while you're here I invite you to subscribe take a look around there's other washcloth patterns here as well as free stitch tutorials and many other uh, items for you to browse as well our washcloth pattern today is worked in rows you're going to start by taking your color A and by making a slip knot. You're then going to work a foundation chain and for our foundation chain today I chained a total of 30. If you would like to change the size of your washcloth you're more than welcome to and you can use any stitch multiple to do that. There's 20, 30. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're then going to begin by working a herringbone half double crochet into the second chain from your hook. To work the herringbone half double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that second chain, yarn over, draw up a loop and draw that loop through the first loop on your hook. You're then going to yarn over again and pull through two loops. You're going to work herringbone half double crochets all the way across. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop and draw it through the first loop on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two. Continue working those herringbone half double crochets all the way across your foundation chain. At the end of your row one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're continuing to work in our color A and you're going to once again work another row of herringbone half double crochet stitches. Your chain one does not count as a stitch, so into the top of this first stitch, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, drawing it through that first loop on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. Work your herringbone half double crochet stitches all the way across. In your final stitch, you're going to switch to color B, which I'll show you how to do as I come across. When you come across at the end of row two, you'll want to switch to your color B. To switch to your color B with one stitch remaining, yarn over with your color A and insert it into that final stitch. You're then going to yarn over and drop a loop, pulling it through that first loop on your hook. Drop your color A, pick up your color B, place it on your hook and pull through. Because I'm working an edging on this washcloth, it's not necessary to fasten off and weave in at the end of each color change. We're just going to leave it here and then pick it up on our return. So then chain one with your new color B and turn your work. For uh, the next two rows, rows three and four, you're going to do just as you did for your first two rows and work herringbone half double crochet stitches into each stitch all the way across. At the end of your work, chain one and turn and repeat. 
At the end of row four, you're going to be switching back to your color A, and I'll show you once again how to do that when I come across. So work two more rows of herringbone half double crochet stitches. At the end of row four, we're going to yarn over. We want to switch color and to in this final stitch. So yarn over in your color B, insert your hook into the final stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, pull it through that first loop, drop your color B, your color A should be just hanging down here at the side. You can then pick it up and place it on your hook and pull through. You don't want it to be too loose. You don't want to have loose threads along the side even though we're working over it. You also don't want it to be too tight because you don't want it to bunch. So just carefully pull it up the side. Chain one and turn your work and then once again work herringbone half double crochet stitches for two rows, rows five and six all the way across and at the end of row six change back to your color B. You are going to repeat uh, these two or four rows, rows three, four, five, and six, a total of five more times, and then you're going to meet me back here. Once you're finished all of your repeats, you're just working two rows in each color. Uh, you should have uh, a square uh, washcloth that we're then going to work in edging on. So go ahead, repeat through to row, the end of row 26, and then meet me back here. At the end of row 26, this is what your washcloth is going to look like. You should have uh, six of your color B stripes and end off on your color A once again. You can then fasten off and weave in any ends. You'll see your uh, threads coming up the side, but that's okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to add an edging. It's up to you as far as what color you'd like to use for your edging. I'm going to use my color B, which was my darker color here. What you're then going to do is normally I would join in my top right hand corner, but we're going to be working some reverse single crochet stitches. So I'm going to begin by work, uh, joining my yarn, my color B, into the top left hand corner and chain one. Okay, there's no right or wrong side of your washcloth, it is reversible. So just join in the upper left hand corner. You're then going to work a reverse single crochet stitch. Now this is sometimes called the crab stitch all the way around the edging of your washcloth. I love this edging for washcloths. It gives it a little bit more texture. It's a tough stitch uh, and just great for working as an edging on a project such as this. So what we're going to do is instead of working from right to left, we're going to work from left to right. You're going to bring your hook back and insert it into the previous stitch. Yarn over, draw up a loop and yarn over and pull through two. I'm just working over top of my tail to make it easier to sew in later. You're going to repeat that all the way across the top. So insert your hook into the previous stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Repeat that all the way across the top of your washcloth. And what you'll see is that the stitch is kind of twisting and giving it this corded ridge look. Again, it's just adding a little bit of texture and it is a tough stitch, so I just love it. So keep going all the way across the top of your washcloth until you come to your next corner stitch. Just like so. It may be tricky at first to kind of keep uh, your tension straight, but as you work the stitch, it does get easier. Just keep working all the way across. A 
there will be a total of 29 stitches if you worked your washcloth the same size. almost to my first corner stitch. When you come to your corner, you're going to work three reverse single crochet stitches into that same corner stitch. So there's one, and two, and three. If you find three, is too bulky you may work two as well. You're then going to turn your washcloth and we're now going to work along this rough edge. Now when I was working my reverse single crochets I just worked one in each row. There's no pretty place to put your hook so you're just inserting it where it is comfortable. Uh, you can keep track of how many stitches you're working because you will want a similar number although it's not as important for this reverse crab stitch or a reverse single crochet stitch uh, as far as the multiple is concerned you're just working all the way across when you come to your next corner once again work two or three into that corner stitch and then continue along the bottom and repeat all the way around your washcloth when you return back to your first stitch you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, fasten off and weave in your ends. And that's all there is to working the modern washcloth. So thank, thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, don't forget to subscribe. If you happen to make your washcloth, uh, I invite you to tell me about it down in the comments. Also say hello and uh, be sure to tag me on social media because I love to admire your work. Thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then. Happy crocheting. Bye.